Welcome to our lecture online. Again, if we look at this example, it doesn't at all look like a quadratic equation. But notice that the middle term is to the one-half power, and the term here in the front is to the first power. So at least it's double the power, which makes you think that, yes, we can turn this into a quadratic equation. Then also we have the x minus 3 portion. So the best thing to do is to say, let u equal the square root of x minus 3. And then if we square both sides, we get u squared is equal to x minus 3. Notice we can replace this with u squared and this with u. And then we have a regular quadratic equation. So 2u minus 3, oh, 2u squared minus 3 times u plus 1 equals 0. And that we can probably factor. So write this as the product of two binomials. We need a 2u and a u. The signs are both negative, and I need once. Now I can see that 2u minus 1 equals 0, or u minus 1 equals 0. In this case, we get 2u equals 1, or u equals 1 half, or we get u equals 1. And so those are the two solutions for u. Of course, we're not looking for u, we're looking for x. So now we substitute back in. Instead of u, we write the square root of x minus 3. So the square root of x minus 3 is equal to 1 half, or the square root of x minus 3 is equal to 1. The first thing we're going to do is square both sides. So we have x minus 3 is equal to 1 quarter, or x minus 3 is equal to 1. Of course, 1 squared is still 1. Here, we can move that to the other side. We get x is equal to 3 plus a quarter. And here, or, we said that x is equal to 3 plus 1. All right. Here, that's 12 plus 1 is 13. So we could write x is equal to 13 over 4. That's one possible solution. Over here, we can say that x is equal to 4 as the other solution. So either x equals 13 over 4 or x equals 4 as the two solutions to our original equation. And that is how it's done. Good for today? Well, I was thinking about doing a few more.